each time you went to pick up your child or you saw a loved one, you suddenly had a thought that you were going to harm them, even though you know you would never do so. Or each time you went to the toilet or the bathroom, you became convinced that you were covered in germs and contamination. You can feel it on your face, on your body, and all over your hands. And so you wash over and over again until your hands become red, raw, and blistered. Or that you had to rearrange objects meticulously for hours to the point where you no longer see your friends or your family, even though you know they depend upon you. And no matter what you do, you cannot stop these thoughts. They're relentless, causing you to feel alone, isolated, and depressed. This is what it's like for people who suffer from obsessive compulsive disorder. And I'm going to use a brain stimulation technique to treat this disabling illness. So OCD is a mental illness that's made up of two components. The first component we refer to as obsessions. And these are recurrent, intrusive thoughts that patients cannot stop experiencing. So they might have thoughts about harming their loved ones, they might become concerned about germs and contamination, or they might become fixated on making objects look aligned. Now because of the intrusive nature of the thoughts, they then experience severe anxiety, and in an attempt to reduce this anxiety, they'll then engage in compulsive behaviour. So they might count backwards from 100 to stop themselves thinking about harming their loved ones, they might clean excessively, or they might rearrange objects for hours until they feel just right. Now the situation for OCD patients is not dire, and we do have drugs and psychotherapies. However, it's estimated that 50% of patients do not respond to those first-line treatments. So there's an urgent need to develop a wider range of treatment options. Now what we know about the OCD brain is that some areas appear to be too overactive, particularly the front and the middle parts, and that's why they get that symptom expression. But other areas appear to be too underactive, and that's why they can't switch to different thoughts. So the brain stimulation technique I'm using is called transcranial magnetic stimulation, and it allows us to activate or inactivate different parts of the brain. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to target those areas that are too overactive and to silence them so that people get symptom relief. And for those areas that are too underactive, I'm going to activate them so that people can then switch <coughs> to different thoughts. So that in a nutshell is my thesis. I'm using brain stimulation to treat OCD and to help members in our community do the things that we take for granted, like seeing our loved ones, simply going to the toilet, or to be able to say, yes, I did turn off the stove. My name is Michael. Thank you for listening.